Okay, so we continue to the next formula. It's about compound angles. So what is the formula talking about? Is it's talking about how you compute your angle. So formula ni dipangge compound angle because of you can notice that your angle here now is in operation. Okay, your angle here now is in operation. So how do you simplify when your angle is in operation? Like sine A plus B. When you want to simplify, it's not meaning that you want to expand sine A, sine B. The bracket here. So you always remember the bracket for the trigonometry is not meaning for multiplication. The bracket here is for you to identify. Inside here, we have two angles. A and B means two, two different angles. So how can you simplify these compound angles uh, when you expand using formula compound angles? So it will side A cos B, operation follow plus, then reverse back cos A side B. So if your angle is in uh, minus, so here also minus. So easier to remember will be compound angles for side, it will be side cos, Reverse the trigonometry cosine. So combined angle for cos, it will be exactly repeat cos cos sine sine cos cos sine sine. But the operation you have to be careful where your angle is in uh, plus, it will reverse become minus. So for tangent, tangent A plus tangent B, then over one minus tangent A tangent B. So all these are your combined angle. So you can see. Uh, different formula, different properties. Compound angle basically is focused on your angles here. How do you operate your angles to simplify your trigo with comp uh, angle in plus and minus? Alright. Okay. So find tangent 105 without using calculator. So when we, we without using calculator, we have to use the properties of Special angles. When we have special angles, we know all the values, right? Right? So, uh, 105. So, what's the special value that we can involve here? 60 and 45. So, without using calculator, you cannot just press, oh, the funny line, okay, not that one. So, you have to prove up. So you can see now our angle is in operation, which is 60 degree plus 45 degree. So by using your formula, compound angle formula for tangent, where tangent A plus B, it will be equal to tangent A plus tangent B for numerator. Then denominator, it will be 1 minus tangent A tangent B. Okay, so you can notice that your operation change at denominator. All right, so we simplify these compound angles using the formula. It will come up with tangent sixty. A is your sixty. Angle B is your forty-five plus tangent forty-five over one minus tangent sixty. Tangent 45. So what is the special value here? You can refer back our table before this. Special angles come up with special value. In your page 6 here, tangent, read for tangent, 60 is 3, 45 is 1. Okay, then we substitute our. So this will give us sub 3, this will give us 1. Tangent 60, sub 3, tangent 45, 1. So it will become sub 3 plus 1, 1 minus sub 3. So for this value, it haven't come to the simplest form. As you learned before, sub cannot add. Denominator, we have to rationalize the third. So, when we want to rationalize the third, we will multiply with this conjugate. So, the denominator conjugate will be 1 plus third 3.
So now you manage to rationalize your denominator. So a minus b, a plus b, it will give you a squared minus b squared. So up here, we're going to expand one by one. Third three plus third three times third three is square, so it will dot third already. Then second term, one times one, one, then one times third three. Alright, simplify. You're having four plus two third three over negative two. So divide, divide separately one by one. The real number four divided by negative two is negative two. Then the third number here, two divided by negative two, it gives you negative one. 